Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a 3D bedroom with using one point perspective. We will start by adding our bed to it and then of course you need some pillows and blankets added to it and you can put a headboard on it. You will also be adding windows and I have one here and then the start of one here or that could be a mirror placement if you wanted. Then you'll also be adding a type of desk or dresser and some chairs. You also need to add a lamp to your picture, curtains that are open showing your window, some type of nightstand, an alarm clock, and any more people seem to use their cell phones, so have your cell phone being 3D in the picture. Also a TV somewhere, or it could be a laptop, some type of game system, and I have like the old school TV up here, but it could be one that you would draw like this and have on one of the walls. Then you also need some type of chair somewhere, and then add in your extras of posters decorating it, or it could be pictures and picture frames, some type of pet somewhere. Here I added my little goldfish, but you could do a cat or a dog, or some people have snakes and those type of things. And then um, add, say, like a trash can in there so you have your other details, and then you'll put what kind of wallpaper that you would like, what kind of curtain rods that you want, different types of lighting I have drawn up here. So you could do a ceiling fan or more like kind of the dome glass curve things. These would be more of the wavy track lights. Those would be your recess lights. So there are different ways to do it, but everything is going to a one point perspective. And once it's all drawn by following my steps, then you will color it and then add in your own decorations. And don't be leaving things white. If it's white, you need to color it. So this one I've started so you just could see the difference. What I've also done here is another one so you could see how you could do it a different way. And I also started coloring what would be the outside and the fence that I'd be seeing, say, in my backyard. This one's more of just fabric draped over it, but that would still count as your curtain. And you can see how the dresser was in the other picture. Here we have a desk and another type of chair, but it's all going to the vanishing point. So I left some of those lines so you could just see how everything's going there. And what I've also done here is drawn out just using some color so you can see we start with this point here and I'll show you how to do that and then we are going to put in our back wall and then this would be our right wall and our left our ceiling and our floor and from all of that we're going to work from that vanishing point out whereas when we were doing the city we would draw and draw to the vanishing point here we draw the back and draw towards us when we're doing the one point perspective. And in this one I put like the little cage with my little hamster and everything. And add some bookshelves throughout, you know, dirty laundry if you have that say on your floor and everything and another type of chair right there. So there's different ways that you can do your pictures but everybody's going to start with the bed and then some of this in the same spots as I am. So let's get drawing. I have my ruler, my pencil, and an eraser because some of these lines will be getting erased later. My paper is 12 by 18 and what I'm going to do is start with the vanishing point in the middle part of the paper but not exactly in the middle. We're going to move it up just a little bit. So knowing that my paper is 18 inches across, I'm going to make a mark at where the 9 is just so I have a mark and that's halfway. And then what I was going to do was go about four and a half down from that. So this is right where my vanishing point would be. And I don't want it exactly center going this way because if we're thinking we're standing, when I was showing you earlier, we would be standing at the door looking in the room this way. So we're standing here, so this would be say our height so that is my viewpoint as the viewer standing in the door. So we have this dot and this will be staying here for the entire picture and then when we're done we'll be erasing our extra lines. So to get started I'm going to line my ruler up to the corner here and draw a line and remember things will be getting erased later so don't be pressing down really hard. Then I'm going to draw it the other corner. 
So it will look like an X, but not a perfect X because it's going to be a little bit larger from the bottom part. Then I just need to get the side over here. And why we're doing the X is because we're establishing the corners of our entire room. Where is the ceiling? It's going to be here. The floor will be here. And then we have our two walls. So what we need to do now is make our back wall. And by doing that, the trick is I have a flat edge ruler and this way I'm making sure I have vertical lines. So I need to establish how far out I want my back wall to go and my side wall. So it would be like this. So what I could do right now is say that's about four and three fourths. So I can make a line over here just as a guideline is four and three fourths. So I know where I need to make my first vertical line. And if it's tilted slightly, this is where it's going to throw you off. So we wanna make sure we're drawing a nice vertical line. And I'm only drawing it in this triangle. The next triangle part, I'm going to draw the line that's going to establish the floor right here. Line the edge up to the side of the paper here. And my ruler is not long enough, so I'm just going to go ahead and slide it over here. Now I'm going to make this line. guessed it, the last line is going to be right here. And now I have my back wall right here. So what we are going to do is keep these lines here as guidelines and then we're going to start putting our bed in this area and from that then we'll add in our other decorations. So we're going to start with making the back part of the bed and drawing it out this way. So first thing we're going to do is make our bed height of how tall we want our bed to be. And I'm going to go about an inch. So I have it here. The bottom of the wall is at a 7 and I'm going to make a mark at the 8. So that's my one inch. If you wanted, you could just line it up this way. So now what I'm going to do is make a line. It's my guideline I have going on. And that's the back top of my bed. But what I also still need to do is decide how wide I want my bed to be. And maybe I want it to be just a little bit wider. So let's see. That is probably, let's just go three inches and be done with that. So I went one inch and over three. Now I'm going to go down. So right here, I have started that back part of my bed. Now what we're gonna do is we need to make a mark of how far we want our bed to come out. So this is what throws people off a little bit. And what we're gonna do is make a mark on this part right here. And let's do that maybe, let's see, let's go like about three and a half or so. So I'm making a mark right here of that line of where the wall and floor is. Then what I'm going to do is line my ruler up here to the edge of my paper again. Draw a line just so I have a guideline. Some of this will be getting erased, but this way I have my guideline. And from that, what we're going to do next is some parts that throw people off every once in a while. But we have this part and this part established, and then we have the bottom corner of our bed established. So here is what we're going to do. Line our ruler up to 
that original height right up here. I'll zoom in just a little bit so you guys can see. So right here, I'm lining that up to the vanishing point. I'm not going to draw here on the back wall. I'm going to draw out this way towards the bed. And a lot of times people just freehand it and they're like, yeah, that looks correct, but we're actually gonna make sure we use the vanishing point because it will throw us off later if we don't. So I'm gonna do this corner right here now. And I'm gonna do this corner that's touching down here where it's the floor and the wall meeting on that, what would be, say, the bed post leg right there. Lining that up to the vanishing point, drawing a line again. So you're like, this looks really strange, so what we're going to do is, on this, we need to draw some vertical lines now. So what we're gonna do is line up right where this intersects, Then we go straight across here. I'll erase this just so you can see how it's working here. So then this would be our vertical line. And I'm gonna erase my extra lines. Just enough so you can see what we're doing here. So now I have my bed started. So you're like, this is just a gigantic box. It is, but what we're gonna do now is create some legs for the bed. And what we're going to do is erase just this line so you're not seeing it anymore. That way you can understand where that part is going a little bit. So I'm going to pretend that we're making the bed and what kind of size of mattresses you want and everything. So we're the creator of what type of feet. Do you want simple square feet? Or are you wanting the feet of the bed curved? So a simple one would be, first, let's divide this in half. And if you have a two layer mattress, you may have less of your foot part showing. But I'm just gonna do this in half. So use the ruler just so it's a little bit straighter. Now, right here, I'm gonna line that up to the vanishing point to draw on this side of the bed. Because what we're creating is the wood part of the bed. I'll brace this back line here just so we can not see it now. So this would be the mattress. And now this is the wood part. So what we're gonna do is just make a very simple one. So I'm gonna draw another line right here. And leaving the same space. So I'm gonna do like a finger space. So that would be, say a half an inch here. So I'm gonna do a half an inch foot on this one. So these are vertical lines and I went straight across for horizontal. Now the trickier part is this isn't gonna be a whole finger space, it's gonna be a little bit less, but it's a vertical line. And if we go like this with a little guideline that's getting erased, make your mark here. Line that up to your vanishing point. And then do another vertical and erase. And there you have the feet of your bed. The other thing that you really need to do on this part is I'm gonna line this little spot up to the vanishing point again. And see how that has given it the dimension of the foot and then do a vertical line. And now I have the foot of my bed. I'm going to erase this line, that bottom one that's touching the floor, because I don't need that anymore. So now I have some feet to my bed here. 
the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and you can start drawing in where, say, the pillows of the bed is. And I'm gonna do one little tiny line right back there. We've got that. So it's just like a little tiny vertical line right in this area that I'm doing. So since we're still working on the bed right here, what I'm gonna do is, if you want to draw a headboard in, that would be connected, it'd be going straight up. And then you would go across, give it a little rectangle coming out from the vanishing point. Just giving myself some guidelines so we knew where to go. Okay, then make them some nice clean lines here. Another vertical. And then it would come down like that if you were doing a headboard. If you are not, I'll erase this. The easier one people go with is not drawing a headboard. So, just don't even do that stuff I just did. But find where, say, our pillows would be and how further than this, I don't know what you're wanting, a whole bunch, a couple, it's up to you. I'm just gonna do where it would be just a row of pillows across. So I'm drawing my line here, making a vertical, and they're gonna look square to start with, but we'll be changing it up. So I'm going to go to the vanishing point and back and have my vertical. So here I'm gonna line this up to the vanishing point again to get this side angle. Here I would draw my straight across line and then I would do that again for the very back of them. They're very square right now, but we will be curving them. So say we had two pillows, so what is the distance? And we're just gonna say that they're the same size. So it's three inches there, so I'm gonna make a mark at the inch and a half. I made my mark right here. I'm gonna line it up to the vanishing point. Draw on top of the pillows, and then it would be a vertical line down. So erase here because you're not going to see through your pillows anymore. And then what you would start doing is curving them like this. And it's just those little lines that we're going to start adding is those little details of curving to make them look not as square. So we'll get rid of those sharp edges and have it curved. would be more your pillow. What you could also do is because we need a blanket on our bed. Say we made our bed, so I'm gonna go with a line, just not perfectly straight, and then drape it down. And we could get rid of that little line right there. Kinda curve that just a smidge. Then the blanket, give it some of those guidelines of like where the blanket would be falling over. And then just do kind of your wavy line down around the edge of the bed here. I like just adding a little bit of material there. And then you would erase, say, that line right there. I keep this line to show it's showing, but you could curve it slightly. And then just a little bit of a wave there, and that way you're showing where the blanket is being draped and stuff on your bed. And that would be the little curve I was talking about for the triangle.